Uh, today there's uh, over a hundred um, inherited genetic disorders. Uh, luckily most of those are very rare, uh, but they do run in families. Uh, many of those are what we call uh, single gene disorders and uh, usually both uh, the husband and wife or the male and female partner have to be a carrier of those to, uh, for the child to be affected. Uh, sometimes the effect uh, is 50 percent, sometimes it's 25 percent. But today there is that ability to determine uh, if a miscarriage has occurred before or if there's a family history exactly uh, what that genetic uh, issue is. That can be identified and a genetics laboratory can prepare what they call a DNA probe that will identify uh, the presence or absence of that specific, specific, specific gene defect. So for the couple going through in vitro fertilization, you get eggs and you create embryos, then you can take a cell out of each of those embryos and analyze it for the presence or absence of that genetic disorder. And then obviously um, the unaffected embryo is then transferred back to the woman to achieve a pregnancy. Um, I think the, in the future we will have uh, a greater number of genetic uh, diseases we can look for, perhaps some of the more common ones. Uh, we don't have anything for uh, Alzheimer's or uh, those other common uh, disorders. Uh, but single gene disorders are something that are very essentially curable today.